Now it's interesting, um, in new Bible versions, you know, in the New American Standard, the New International Version, um, that are coming out these days, they have removed completely Acts 8 verse 37. Now, they will justify that by saying, well, the earliest and the newest manuscripts didn't have this scripture, and therefore we have taken it out. But one thing you have to note is just because a manuscript that they find buried in a cave or buried in a monastery, just because it's older doesn't mean it's more accurate. You know, we have to be careful when we, you know, because we, we all have the same evidence. It's like with creation and evolution. We all have the same evidence. Because you know how they try and say, well, we have more evidence or we have more evidence, you have less evidence. But we all have the same world, don't we? We all have the same world, we have, we have the same evidence, we have all the same facts. What we have different is not evidence, what we have different is our interpretation of the evidence. So yes, we find these scrolls that have these verses missing, and are they dated older? Maybe, right? Because they carbon date them, and carbon dating is by no means an accurate way of dating. But let's say they carbon date these to the year 200 or 300 AD, and they say, oh, these are older, therefore they're more accurate. Well, that's one interpretation of the evidence. Another interpretation of the evidence could be that ever since the, the disciples, people were trying to corrupt and change the Word of God, and the Bibles that had been corrupted and changed were just used less often, and that's why they lasted longer. Because obviously if a manuscript is being opened and unrolled or opened and used day in and day out, it's going to wear out and the copies are going to replace it. So we would expect not to find old, old, old scriptures if the scriptures were not in abundance and they were constantly getting used and copied and replaced. That makes sense to me. You know, I, I do definitely believe, you know, I don't think we can prove this, so it's hard to make a hard and fast accusation that Satan is behind these new Bible versions. And he is deliberately trying to corrupt the Word of God, make it more, you know, politically correct, try and make it more accurate to include more religions. And one of the reasons why Satan may want to remove Acts 8.37 is to cater to the practice of the Catholic Church to baptize babies or to cater to any religion that you can be part of that religion as long as you're just baptized because you don't need to be a believer. Anyone can be baptized and anybody can join the Church of Jesus Christ. Um, but that's not the case. You know, the Bible says here in Acts 8, 37 that you have to believe on Jesus Christ to be, to be baptized with water and that's what will stop anyone from being baptized. Um, and I think that they're just trying to remove that because they want to um, support the Catholic doctrine of baptizing babies who do not believe. 